Hey everyone, Abisai here. Today I've got a pretty big upgrade video for you guys. I'm going to be installing the cage director finally to my uh, system so that I can test alkalinity automatically. I'll also be adding another UPS to the system just to provide some more uh, redundancy in terms of backup power. Anyways, stay tuned. rundown of what the plan is. The plan is to install the KH director as well as the related dosing pumps uh, in this chamber and in the future put the ion director and the dosing pumps in this chamber as well. And then at the bottom here I plan to have a uh, wastewater container as well as a new uh, fresh uh, saltwater container that can replenish the salt water whenever uh, I take samples out of it to test. And then over here, I'll put the new UPS as well as relocate some of the power into that box. And then the top box over here, I'll leave that empty for now until I decide um, what to do with it. Anyways, let's get going. Hey guys, so I just finished setting up the cage director and I am now running the first test. I'm going to run another one afterwards just to make sure that you know all the lines are completely primed. Um, for the most part, the setup was really straightforward. I just followed the GHL instructions in their video that they have online. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm using a bucket right now to for wastewater just because I haven't had the time to get my... Um, containers just yet but they'll be here tomorrow and I'll have those installed in order for the system just to look good overall. Anyways let's go ahead and see how the cage director does in terms of results and I'm going to compare it to my uh, HANA checker just to see uh, how close I am in, in terms of uh, measuring measurements. All right let's see what it does. Hey guys I just finished running the HANA checker and it's coming out to an 8.8 .8 dkh um, I know the HANA checker is not perfect, like it can vary anywhere from, you know, plus or minus 0.5. So if the results from the KH director are within half a dKH, I'll be pretty happy with that. So yeah, let's just wait and see what happens. So I've already ran it twice. Uh, the first time I got 8.5, second time I got 8.4. Um, I'm going to run it one more time just to make sure that it's getting consistent results. So. Gonna start it. Here we go.
Okay, it just finished its third test and it came out to be 8.4. So 8.5, that's good enough for me. Honestly, I think I trust this more than I trust my um, Hannah Checker because in the past it has read high uh, whenever I switch to a new um, region and when I switch to another one, it'll drop by like an entire one DKH. So I feel pretty happy with this. I also went and had checked this against a a titration kit from Salifert which tested out at 8.2 so I think I'll just go with um, the cage director in terms of reading my alt from now on and if anything ever seems off I'll just spot check it here and there with the HANA checker and maybe a titration kit every you know two weeks or so just to make sure that it's um, doesn't need to be calibrated anyways thanks for watching hopefully this was useful uh, I might add some clips later with just whenever the setup is complete. I plan on having two tanks like I mentioned below. So once I get those, I'll, I'll put those in. Alright, thanks. Oh, before I leave, um, one note. If you do end up getting the KH director and you're running into any issues, um, I will say this. Make sure you watch GHL's videos on setting it up. Just make sure that you're doing all the right steps. You know, double calibrate your pumps. You can... Uh, calibrate your pH probe just to check that you've got every point covered um, and to ensure that you're getting um, consistent results. Anyways, that's it. Hey guys, so Amazon saves the day yet again. I got my um, storage containers. Let's see how it looks in the setup. I think these are perfect because they'll have handles on the front so I can easily slide them in and out whenever I need to dump the wastewater out and put salt water in a new one. Let's see. Okay. We'll make this left one wastewater. And I'll probably drill holes in this later. Perfect. I might um uh, I might replace these nozzles though with just sealed shut. Um, caps, but it does look really good. Awesome! So I think that's it for today. Um, I may change up the know the layout a little bit and, and drill some holes into the actual um, uh, storage but in terms of overall layout I think this will be it for um, the setup currently anyways thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll show you guys some overall footage of the entire setup now thanks